night, for as long as I can remember, I have been having the same dream. In this dream, I meet a boy, fall in love with him, start a family, and live happily ever after. I have always believed that this dream was showing me my future, showing me the person I'll be with for the rest of my life. I spent years fantasizing about what it would be like to finally meet him. And then, one year ago, I found him. The boy from my dreams is in the same school as me, but I'm too afraid to speak to him because I'm worried that I'll ruin everything and make him hate me. So, for the past year, I've been admiring him from afar while I built up enough courage to speak to him. He's my soulmate, my destiny. But while we're at school, he's just my senpai. I was having so much fun watching him, learning everything about him, and planning our life together. But then, someone had to come and ruin everything. She's trying to take him from me, and I won't let her get away with it. place like this. something about the boy you have feelings for. Uh, 
You know who I have a crush on? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Well, what is it? What did you want to tell me? You can't have him. He belongs to me. you take a knife out of the cooking club. Why did you do that? Oh, 
That knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged. After I disposed of the girl who was trying to steal my senpai, I cleaned up all the evidence. I left no trace of what I had done. Or so I thought. When the police investigated the girl's disappearance, they found a single bloodstain that I failed to clean up. This was enough to make the police begin investigating the girl's disappearance as a possible murder case. A potential murder at an elite school was big news. It was a stain on the school's prestigious reputation. The headmaster didn't take it very well. I heard that he struck a deal with the police to keep any future investigations as discreet as possible. The faculty and the student council will be on high alert from now on. I'll need to be more careful in the future, but I can't rest yet. Another threat has appeared. She plans to confess her feelings to my senpai at 6 p.m. on Friday. I need to stop her before then. If I kill every girl who shows an interest in my senpai, I might attract more police attention to the school. So, even though I'm tempted to plunge a knife into her heart, perhaps I should consider avoiding bloodshed. I should eavesdrop on their conversations. I might be able to learn some valuable information. In fact, with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to ruin their budding relationship and make my senpai lose all interest in her.
trouble with one of my assignments. It's for my least favorite school. I hate this stupid assignment so much. At this point, I just want someone else to do it for me. If you're willing to complete this assignment for me, please... Really? You'll help?
what are you talking to me for? <laughs> Trust me, I'm not the kind of guy you want to get involved with. If you spend too much time around me, you're gonna get hurt. I'm not just saying that, you know. I'm serious. I pissed off some pretty nasty guys. And every day, they wait outside the school gate for me to show up so they can beat me senseless. If they see me and you together, they'll think you're my girl. And if they get the impression that you're important to me, they'll probably try to rough you up. Or worse. So just stay away from me. Got it? <laughs> what? Are you insane? You think you could take them on? We're talking about a gang here. You wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Your funeral. I'll be waiting at the school gate at 3.30.
haven't I hate this stupid if you re Oh my I'm so cold! I know that this weather is perfect for everyone else, but for me, it's just too chilly. I've been like this ever since I was a little kid. I always need to be wearing a jacket or something, or else I'm just freezing. I wish I had learned how to sew, so I could go to the sewing room and knit myself a scarf or something. What? You're going to get me a scarf? If you're being serious, I would really appreciate that. There they are. Right on schedule. You better leave before- Hey, you're not actually gonna try to fight them, are ya? They'll kick your ass. <sighs> no turning back now. Here they come.
I've... I've never seen anything like that before. You're... not human. <laughs> After today, I definitely won't have to worry about those guys anymore. If you hadn't stepped in, though, they probably would have killed me. I... <laughs> I owe you my life. There's no way I could ever pay you back for what you just did. But... There's someone else who might be able to. My brother. He's got... Connections. You know that street with all the stores? At night, you can find my brother there. In an alleyway. I'll tell him to hook you up with whatever you want. After that, we'll be square. Alright? And hey... Thanks again. I know you're fine. Are you okay? Oh my gosh! You really did it! You brought me a scarf! Wait, did you make this yourself? Just now? You're amazing! Thank you! I really owe you one!
just don't know you well enough. Maybe if there were more people at our school who were willing to vouch for you.
I'm having trouble. I <laughs> oh my god, you did it! Now this stupid assignment is...
I'm not going to give you my name, and you're not going to give me yours. The less we know about each other, the better. As soon as we're done here, you're going to forget my face and forget that this conversation ever happened. Got it? Understood. My brother owes you a debt that he could never repay. I'm grateful that you pulled his ass out of the fire, but that doesn't make us friends. The less debts a man owes, the better. And I don't want my brother to owe anything to anyone. So I'm here to make things square between you and him. This is strictly business, so let's get to the chase. I brought some things with me that you might be interested in. Hurry up and pick the one that you want. got what you wanted. With this, my brother's debt is cleared. Do we have an understanding? We do. Good. And if you're smart, this will be the last time you even talk to someone like me. Just one thing about my brother. I want you to... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I'd like to work with you again. I thought I'd made myself clear. I only owed you one favor, and we're square now. I'm not here to ask for a favor. I'd like to pay for your services. You shouldn't get involved with people like me. I already am. <laughs> if you're actually serious about this, you're gonna need some pretty deep pockets. You'd be surprised. We'll see about that. Here's the menu. And no, the prices are not up for negotiation. Which one? Which one? You do know what you're asking for, right? This isn't exactly something you can undo. From the look on your face, I can tell that you're not joking. I'm going to warn you that what you're asking for is pretty expensive. With that out of the way, Let's talk business. Give me a name and a face. That's what you want? Change your mind, huh? I'd like to propose a business deal. Better not be a waste of my time. I go to an elite school. My classmates belong to rich families. Families who wouldn't have a problem paying ransom money. I'm listening. If I kidnap a student from a rich family and bring them to you, would you pay me for them? <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Do you even realize what you're saying? Do you have any idea how risky that would be? But if you could actually pull it off, hmm, it certainly would be lucrative. <sighs> I don't know why I'm sticking my neck out like this, but... All right, I'm in.